Hey y'all. Hey, 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 hey. My head is big. I'm sorry. It's not bigger than mine. But I'm so happy y'all are here. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We got nine people. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Are they are they seamless right now? Yeah. Hey, you're on. Hey, 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 hey. We are Oh, let me calm. Look. Come on, come on. Oh, this lady. Come here, Do you, you guys, <laughs> seriously, you are in for a treat. Hey, black girls with the camera. Yo, Afro blogging me. Hey, y'all. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Emma. Hey, Jen Bates. NYC in the house is my favorite scene in the world. Hey, girl. Oh, my gosh. Ash Barrett Studios, I love you. Oh, look at those numbers, you guys. I, hey, I hope you're not driving the Blink Mobile and periscoping at the same time, Emma. <laughs> no, Emma's not driving, probably. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Oh, yeah. hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to take over. Let me With move. the fro in the way. With the fro. Get the fro. Oh, oh, oh. I get the fro. Oh, oh, oh. I get the fro. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all. All right, so Monique Melton here with the amazing, the one and only Amanda Diaz, okay? So I'm Monique Melton. I am scoping my heart away here at the Blink Conference 2015, okay? And we are here to give you some inside exclusive. I just love this woman already. I just, I just love everybody. So I am here. I'm Monique Melton. I'm a brand strategist. I am with Amanda Diaz. Amanda, let's just say, have you ever been on Periscope before? No. This is her first time. So yeah. this is what y'all gotta do. Y'all gotta keep giving her heart love, heart <laughs> her up, give her love. Make sure you share this with your followers. Share this right now. This would be a great opportunity to share this with the folks right this moment. Let's get those numbers up. Amanda, tell us who you are. Tell us who you are. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Look, let me, let me, cause the lighting is so gross. Okay. You know what, don't worry about the lighting. Just, just yeah. be, just be. So I am a photographer from Canada and I'm here with Blink and I'm having lots of fun. I didn't want to get on here at all, but she did convinced me, so here I am. She did not. And I have to say here, I'll hold you. I'll hold you. So, okay. Let me just, um, let me just say this. <laughs> I did my research on all the people I was going to be interviewing because that's what a good interviewer does, right? And when I saw her work, I almost fell to the floor. I was like, oh. Just fall down to the flow, okay? Let me just tell you, she ooh, my bad. She is so phenomenal. I Oh, wait, this is what we do to people like that. We just block, block them, oh, all right? Wow. That's it, it's simple. Let's go. Here, come closer. Oh, because it's just random. It's just random okay. people that just say stupid. I'm gonna turn like this. Okay, so perfect. Mm, okay. Got it, we friends, y'all. <laughs> okay, so Amanda, will you tell the folks a little bit about how you got started in this? <laughs> Come on, block me. But you can't block okay. Jesus. <laughs> you know what? Um, how I got started. So I uh, started as a graphic design student and um, I had to choose another subject to finish my courses and I chose photography. And so that's how it all began. And then I just got more involved as I went along and that's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. You've been doing this for how long? Um, since 2008. Wow. Yeah, you ain't no joke. So, can you tell us a little bit about the style of photography that you specialize in? Well, I do a lot of conceptual portraiture. I do a lot of fashion work and beauty. Yes. So, yes. Look, I want to be able to tell people, look, because her work is so phenomenal. Let me see if I can pull it up. That's... I'm from Canada. You so got folks asking you questions? Asking from Where are you from? Let's talk, and while I'm pulling this up, what I want to do is I want to tell, I want you to tell us a little bit of how to deal with negativity. Okay, so I just did some of that in my lecture. Um, dealing with negativity, it happens a lot, and um, especially online, a lot of... You just block them. Wow. You just block them, girl. You just block Are them. other people seeing that? Yeah, they oh. see them. We, we block them, though. Wow. She's <laughs> new to Periscope. She's never been on Scope before, y'all. Oh, my God. That's so rude. Okay. You just block so, them. Um, so dealing with negativity, it happens a lot in our industry, and so I like to make sure that when I'm, I'm teaching other photographers um, and they're just learning to how to kind of deal with it as well. Um, like what, I mean, Tell just me, like, like how, yeah, yeah, give me some example, like walk us through, just like maybe two things, two things that people can do to deal with negativity. Um, I would say to, you know, um, ignore them because, yeah. I mean, it's easy to say to ignore them, but uh, once you get in the habit of doing that, it's a lot easier as you mm -hmm. go along. 
and to realize that those people mostly are online, they don't know you, and yes, and pray, because I did, I prayed a lot, I did talk about that as well, mm -hmm. God helps a lot, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. to just, hey, man, my yeah. tambourine. <laughs> my tambourine, yeah. to give you the strength that you need, some people don't believe in God, but I mean, and that's okay, say, yeah, yeah, you know what, that's okay, because yeah. it really is their loss, yeah, that's right, you know, but we ain't yeah. here to preach to y'all, we're here no. to give you a little bit of inspiration, yeah, Tell me, Jesus gives me strength. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Can you tell us what inspires you to come up with this amazing stuff? I mean, I can't get it to pull up. I want to show y'all. You can find her. Tell them where they can find you. Um, well, my website is amandadiaz.com, but I haven't updated it in a little bit. So um, it's just my name.com, amandadiaz.com. And my fan page is Amanda Diaz Photography. Mm-hmm on Facebook and Instagram is at Amanda Diaz Photography. Those are the three main areas. I'm on Twitter, but um, no, it's AmandaDiaz.com. <laughs> My name, not her. Look, y'all, oh, you can't really see. This is not going to do it justice. Yeah, that ain't going to, oh, see, look at that. How do you do that? Look at this. Yeah. I don't know, maybe if you just, I think you have to like, no. You can't it's see too, that real it's good. So it's, too, it's too no. bright. Y'all can't see yeah. it. I can. I'm about to fall to the floor again. Oh, wait, it's so good. I just can't take it. So, um, Amanda, I'm real. Um, if I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. So, let me just say this. There are a lot of people who would love to be right where you are. Can you tell me some specific things that have helped you be where you are right now? Um, well, an important thing I would like to point out is that you have to constantly remind yourself that um, you can do this. Uh, a lot of times I, I felt discouraged and a little bit lost, and, and, and sometimes I still do. But I have to make sure and every day remind myself that I'm on the right path. And so believing in your own work and in your own self Absolutely. is very important. Absolutely. It's so important, you know, and you're in Canada, so, mm -hmm. you know, Every place is different, but right. you know, do you, what do you say to the folks? I mean, I know you get contacted by people all the time. Yeah. Wanting to, do you mentor though, right? Um, not, not personally mentoring. I might in the new year, but I do a lot of, uh, workshops and, um, stuff like that. And I'll be doing online courses yes. next year. So. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So what do you say to folks that are like, oh my gosh, how do I get my stuff out there? How do I, you know, where do I start? What do you, what do you say? Cause I know you get that all the time. Yeah. So I would say social media is very important. It doesn't mean it's going to get you paid work, but it is going to get your name out there and to constantly keep up with your <laughs> why the blind plug? You know what? <laughs> Y'all want them open. They're just asking like random stuff. Um, <laughs> That's what happens in Paris. Yeah. You never know. You okay. Never know. Um, to keep up with your social media, don't neglect it because it will hurt you. I uh, I find that the longer you stay away from your social media, the harder it is to get it back up. So I haven't mm. actually been on my fan page since uh, Halloween, October 31st. Yeah. And my, my stats like that algorithms are dropping oh wow yeah so i would yeah. say you guys have to make sure you're on there every day and so now i'm gonna have to start pimping out my page again pimp so, it out yeah so the people are seeing the stuff in their news feed so it's very important so we need to get some share love in here y'all because amanda is getting ready to drop some real like amazing bomb because i'm about to ask her a really great question so what i want to do right now is i want to invite all of you to share this with your followers because the truth is amanda is amazing and her work, when you go and see it, just make sure you're sitting down because you might fall to the floor because it is so incredibly beautiful. I mean, it's just, oh, how do you do it? I, I just feel like, it's are crazy. you really what here? Are the for? The heart, look, she's so new parents, <laughs> she don't even know y'all. Um, those are people tapping the screen saying they love you. Oh. They love what we're saying right now. They just love it. Yes, her website is flawless. Yes, her work is beautiful. So what I'm getting ready to ask, I know that a lot of people would love to know the answer to this. Why do you do what you do? Well, because it's my passion. It's my outlet. 
Um, I'm able to be creative and do what I want with my work. And so basically that's, that's the whole gist of it. I just, I like to be able to think of something and re and, and create it and make it real and execute it and share it out there with people. I love inspiring people. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what motivates me and keeps me going that's and so why good. I love it. It's so yeah. good. How did you become, when, how did you become so amazing? Like just, are you so tall? I'm so serious. Like how did you, how did you, to the person who just picked the camera and, and sucks. That's just mm -hmm. the truth. You know, you don't just start off great. No. Well, how did you get there? Uh, a lot of trial and error, a lot of practice. I didn't start off this way. And even still, I feel like my work has room to improve. So I don't, uh, like like I just did in the lecture, I talk about always forever learning. Um, I just feel like you don't ever want to get stuck. And when I first started, I thought I was like good you thought you were all that yeah. and then when I look back at my work now I'm like whoa like I've come a long way I was not all that <laughs> so, yeah and I always tell people always look back at your work always like a few, months, a few months down the line a year down the line look back at your work yeah and then you'll see that you're growing even though it may feel like you're not yes and see people on here some of them have not seen your work before they're seeing it for the first time and, oh. and they probably fell over okay down because it's just that amazing she's bomb she is like I when I found I'm, I'm not playing when I found her I was like ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. so I have to know like when you go to bed at night mm -hmm. <laughs> and you go to sleep you go to sleep land right. do you dream of this stuff like how do these ideas come to mind like are these like dreams that you put into reality they're so yeah. whimsical and just so just beautiful and there's just such a beautiful Essence there, like, look, She's I'm dying, I'm dead. See, dead. So that's why I keep laughing. You slay them. Reading comments. You slay them. Yeah. Left and right, just killing them. That's funny. Numbers um, going down. <laughs> um, um, you know what? Uh, no, I don't really actually dream about stuff. Sometimes I have like fairy tale dreams or something because I shoot so much of that style. Exactly, it's but very fairy tale style. More of my inspiration of where I think, because you're asking me where I think of stuff yes. like this. Yeah. So it's mostly from. Um, you know, drawing inspiration from, again, like what I had talked about earlier, um, from different elements, like so from cinematic movies, yeah. music videos, paintings, other art forms, not photographers' photos. Right. And yes, I do get inspired from other photographers' photos, but I don't, I don't look at it to study and analyze the shot so I can imitate it, but rather I take an element from it mm. and try to implement it in my own work. So you could look at this couch, <laughs> this chair. <laughs> yeah. And I could just lay in that chair a certain way, and the next thing you know, magic would happen. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> Goodness, Mo, you have been keeping me up today, and Maybe I got this chair. Maybe not the chair. Maybe not the chair. What would, what, else, what so. in this room? And the chalkboard you. Cool. Like, say that chalkboard right now. I could draw some angel wings. So I'm going to show you guys the chalkboard. <laughs> Oh, oh draw so angel this wings. is called critical thinking in your arts when you when you have to this is the behind arts. the scenes of the bling conference behind the scenes so so amanda could be inspired by this chalkboard which is amazing what what are you doing with the chalkboard you bring your camera to the no i want to be in your world but for the chalkboard <laughs> look i'm a groupie <laughs> that's funny for the chalkboards like let's say i would um to make you like an angel or something. Oh, I would I draw some angel. wings on there, or something like that. You guys so, scoot closer together for me. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I messed up our whole situation. I know. Sorry, Periscope People. land. But Tasha in the house. Hey, it's Kari. Tosh. It's Tosh. Yeah. He it went is. all the way back to my he government went, name. He went back. Okay, we're going to get this done. There we go. Up, now we all with a lean. I'm sorry. Lean with it, rock with it. That's better. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. These days, we're going to do better. We got tomorrow, you guys. Tomorrow, I promise, I'm gonna go by. She's really good, right, Trevor? I am. I'm gonna go get a thing, the thing that holds the iPad, so that we don't have to do this tomorrow. So when you tune in, it'll be great tomorrow, and, and I'm gonna cover up everybody with my afro. I love the afro. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. I thought I had a big one. So let's let's wrap this up for a moment because I know you don't want to be on here all day. Although I could be on here with her all day because I just love her. I want to know, what are some of the things that you would recommend for someone to do on a consistent basis? Like three key things you could you could tell somebody, you know what, if you do these three things, you'll see some progress. What would they be? Um, okay, so focus on yourself. That's very important. Don't worry about this guy and that guy. That's the number one. 
um, having confidence in your work and, and like I said, believing in yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So, I would say critique your own work, analyze what you've done, and, and think of ways to improve next time. And the last thing I would say, always seek out inspiration. Because yes. if you don't, you're going to get bored and you're probably going to give up. So. Yeah, and you don't want yeah. to do that because the world needs and I guess you. one more thing, I know it's just yeah. three, but keep going. Just, just, not, to you. just not let other people get you down because it happens a lot in the industry and try to... You know try to let those things just come and go yeah absolutely yeah. what questions do you guys have for amanda because she's fantastic do you like to say mm, not in front of people <laughs> all right what questions do you guys have i was gonna get her to sing y'all yes um do you offer workshops yes i do i only do one a year actually but i will be like i do a fashion and beauty workshop once a year and so it's very, um, it fills up pretty quick, but I'll be announcing that pretty soon on my website. And the next one will be in the spring and it will be um, uh, women's portraiture, like mm. painterly portraits, more of my personal style of work. I'll be doing a workshop on that. So Y'all better get to that workshop. If I was a photographer, I would be there. I'm not even a photographer and I feel like I should be there. I'm like <laughs> second show that at this site. <laughs> you can come and help and hang out. Yeah, let's do it. Where is it going to be? Probably. Uh, uh, it might know. be in Vancouver or Toronto. Okay. I'm not sure yet. So, oh, yeah. But it fills up really quick. It should be so, in Vancouver because I can drive from Seattle. Yeah. And it's close to me. So uh oh, yeah. We might be far. crashing it. We might be crashing her workshop. So, so y'all oh, hear okay. it. Very spoken. No. How do you handle the clients that do not want to pay your worth? Tough in my market. I say bye. That's she got time for that now. <laughs> do you see I, what level she at? Right <laughs> <laughs> no, that's bad advice. Okay, sorry. No, I give them, I, I give them uh, options. Uh, so if I give them a quote and they don't like that, I give them options. I'm saying, okay, if you think this is too much, then let's do it this way or that way. And like you can choose from one of these. This is less expensive, but you're going to get a little less out of me. I'm not going to work that many hours or you're not going to get that many images or whatever. And so they get these options from me and it works usually like a charm. They end up picking the middle ground and I get paid what I'm worth and they're satisfied with what they get. Yeah. So giving a client options is like a really good idea. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So it's not like a one shot deal. Like a package, like package yeah. one, two, and three, just like wedding photographers. I do yeah. the same. Same thing. Oh, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Do yeah. you work with an assistant? Um, mm, off and on, I don't always have somebody to help me, so Any it just depends. I'll be your assistant. Tips for um, Photoshop? Well, oh God, I don't know. Um, she said that's a whole other workshop. Try not to over edit. Like some people, they do too much dodging and burning and mm. or, or making the eyes look like aliens and stuff. Yeah, try to creepy. avoid that. So that's a good tip for Photoshop. I see a lot of over editing happening, so just be careful with that. What is your go-to portrait lens? Um, my 85, my my Canon 85 1.2. Got glass. it. And then the next one is the Sigma Art Lens uh, 1.4. Got that? Because I don't know what those are. Those are my two babies. That's all I use, pretty much. I have other lenses, <laughs> but I don't touch them, so. Right. Y'all got it? <laughs> Monique is not a photographer. 34 1.4 85 millimeter. Okay. Any other questions? Because Amanda's like, I gotta get out of here. No. Monique is taking over my life. No, I'm not. What? What's the last question, y'all? Which I want to know. I want. I got. I got questions, but we don't ask them offline because I ain't gonna, you know, put your business out there. Mm -hmm. So, um, Tosh. Yes. You got something else you want to ask Amanda? Throw a question out there. Mm -hmm. No, not right now. She already know everything. We I do. BFFs. We are. We're going to be BFF soon. <laughs> so thank you so much, everybody. Make sure you're following at Blink Conference so that you can get all the exclusives. We're going to be doing giveaways, more announcements, more. Let's give Amanda a round of applause. Let's tap that screen. Tap yeah, that screen, people. Sorry. I'm just saying. Let's show some love. You know, you, know <laughs> you know what? This is her conference. So I'm going to let it slide. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks, Mo and Amanda. And Tosh. Thank you, Tosh, for coming in and making it even better. Um, Amanda, you're awesome and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You can just stare at her. Oh. So thank you, guys. Again, make sure you're following at Link Conference so you can get all the great stuff. Where can they find you in the social media world? Tell them that information. Yeah. So again, um, Facebook is Amanda Diaz Photography. And Instagram is at Amanda Diaz Photography. And um, my fan page is AmandaDiaz.com. I have Twitter, it's AmandaDiazPhoto, but I don't use Twitter much. So. 
And you can find me at Mo Motivate. Mo Motivate. Motivating you to be better than your best in business and in life. Thank y'all so much. We'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. Let's 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 do a hug since we don't dance. We'll hug. All right. <laughs> Bye.